Hello, art friends. Welcome back to Art Class with Mr. Mazer. This week, we're going to be reading The Pencil by Alan Alberg and Bruce Ingman. And we're going to be drawing a lucky cat because it is Asian American History Month. And we're going to show our appreciation for the Asian culture. These cats are drawn all over China and Japan, and they are meant to bring good luck. So we're going to be drawing one of those. So first, we're going to read the pencil. Once there was a pencil, a lonely little pencil, and nothing else. It lay there, which was nowhere in particular, for a long, long time. Then one day, that little pencil made a move, shivered slightly, quivered somewhat, and began to draw the pencil. The pencil drew a boy. What's my name, said the boy. Er, Banjo, said the pencil. Good, said Banjo. Draw me a dog. The pencil drew a dog. What's my name, barked the dog. Er, Bruce, said the pencil. Excellent, said Bruce. Draw me a cat. The pencil hesitated. Please, said Bruce. So then the pencil drew a cat named Mildred. And Bruce, of course, chased Mildred. And Banjo chased Bruce. Round and round the house, which the pencil drew. Up and down the road, which the pencil drew. And in and out of the park, which the pencil drew. They ran around for a long, long time, getting hot and bothered, tired and grumpy, and hungry. Draw me an apple, said Banjo. Draw me a bone, barked Bruce. Draw me a mouse, meowed Mildred. No, said the pencil, no mouse. All right, cat food then, meowed Mildred. Only then. We can't eat this. Apple, yelled Banjo. Bone, barked Bruce. Cat food, meowed Mildred. It's black and white. The pencil hesitated, frowned, looked thoughtful for a while, and drew a paintbrush. What's my name, said the paintbrush. Er, Kitty, said the pencil. Splendid, said Kitty. How can I help? After that, Kitty painted the apple and the bone and the cat food. She painted Banjo and Bruce, but not Mildred. Mildred was a black and white cat anyway. She painted the house and the road and the park. What next? cried the now cheerful and excited pencil. Anything, yelled Kitty. She was excited too. You draw and I'll color it. So they did. Banjo got a little sister named Elsie and a mom and dad named Mr. and Mrs., some grandmas and grandpas, three or four cousins, and an Uncle Charlie. Bruce got a friend, an Airedale named Polly, and a ball. What's my name, said the ball. Don't be silly, said the pencil. The ball made a sad face. All right then, Sebastian, said the pencil. Then all of a sudden, trouble. Banjo kicked Sebastian, oh, into the air and broke a window. Polly ran off with Bruce's bone. What's my name, said the bone. One of Mildred's kittens, which she had just asked for, got stuck up a tree, and everybody was grumpy and starting to complain. This hat looks silly, said Mrs. My ears are too big, said Mr. I shouldn't be smoking a pipe, said Grandpa. Get rid of these ridiculous sneakers, yelled Elsie. The pencil hesitated, frowned, looked worried for a while, quivered somewhat, and drew an eraser. After that, the eraser, as you might expect, rubbed things out, hats and ears and such. The pencil and the paintbrush drew and painted them again. Everybody was happy. Only then, more trouble. The eraser rubbed other things out. He was excited too. He rubbed the table out, and the chair out, and the rug out, and the front door out, 
and the house out. He rubbed the tree out, and the kitten, who was still up it out, and the other kittens out, and the cousins, and the grandmas, and Uncle Charlie, out, out, out. He rubbed the road out, and the park out, and the sky out. He rubbed everything, even Kitty the paintbrush, out. Now, once more, there was only the pencil, that lonely little pencil, and nothing else. The eraser kept on coming. The pencil drew a wall to stop him. The eraser rubbed it out. He drew a cage to keep him in. The eraser rubbed it out. He drew a river and some mountains with lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my! The eraser rubbed them out. Then, when all seemed lost and there was absolutely no escape, that brave and clever pencil quivered somewhat, shivered slightly, and drew another eraser. And what did these two erasers do? Their names were Ronald and Rodney, by the way. Yes, of course, as you will surely guess, they rubbed each other out. After that, of course, of course, the pencil drew Banjo and Bruce, Mildred, and the others all over again. And Kitty, he drew her as well, colored them in. He put the sun back in the sky, the house back on the road, the kitten back up the tree, the grass back in the park, and a picnic, a lovely brand new picnic out on the grass. The picnic lasted for a long, long time. Banjo played soccer with Sebastian. Oh, and his little cousins. Banjo's dad tried eating a boiled egg named Billy, but it ran off. A whole column of ants, what's our names, said the ants, came marching across the picnic cloth. Finally, the sun went down. The eating and the games and the adventures stopped, and everybody and everything went home to bed. The pencil drew a moon in the sky and some darkening hills. A kitty, the paintbrush, painted them. He drew a snug little box with a cozy lining, and Kitty painted that. She painted him, too. The end. So I thought that was a good story, because there is a little... See that kitty in the story? So we're going to be drawing a cat. Now, you may have seen these cats before. They're called Lucky Cats. Um, and they're meant to bring good luck to households. They bring happiness and success to people. And they're also meant to bring wealth and prosperity to businesses. That's why a little kitty holds a coin. There are these little sculptures and they kind of wag their arm and wave at you. So we're going to be drawing one of these lucky cats in honor of Asian American History Month. So first thing we're going to do is start with our paper and a pencil. We're going to go to the middle of the page for our cat's nose. So we're going to draw a nice U shape. Now to finish the nose, we're going to close it off on the top, just like that. Now I'm going to make my cat's mouth. So I'm going to curve to the left. And then I'm going to curve to the right to make my cat's little nose. Now for the eyes, I'm going to do those on the sides. So we're going to do two equal circles, one on this side and one on this side. Now the next step in the eyes, I'm going to add a small circle to the upper right corner. That's going to be the highlight. So you know, when the light hits the eyes, they shine. So I'm going to add that. Now next thing I'm going to do, we're going to make that fun little paw that waves. So I'm going to go underneath my right eye and I'm going to draw a kind of upside down U shape just like that. And I'm going to close it off, but I'm going to leave a little bit of space. So leave a little gap in there and then I'm going to make two curved lines. So you know cats have those little separations in their paw, so I'm going to make that. Now, up on the head here, oh, I'm going to start making his head. So I'm going to curve around. So I'm going to go to the side of the eye 
and curve, and we're gonna bring that right into the paw and stop when we get to the paw. And then I'm gonna make an imaginary line through there and then curve it up to finish the head just like that. Now, for the top of the head, we're gonna make kind of an upside down U shape. So I'm gonna come up here and connect these two. And we need, of course, our cat needs to have some ears. So I'm going to make kind of an upside down V shape. And bring it back down. And I'm going to do that on the other side too. So I'm going to go up, make a little soft point, bring it back down. And then we're going to do the same thing again inside for the inside of the ear. So another upside down kind of V shape in there. Now these lucky cats have a little lucky medallion collar that they wear so we're gonna make that. So I'm gonna draw a circle right here. In that circle I'm gonna make another tiny little circle in the middle and then draw one line down just like that. And now to make the collar that that lucky charm hangs on I'm gonna curve a line in there and I'm going to curve it back and that's going to end into the paw there just like that now the next thing I'm going to do is draw my other cat's paw so we got one over here this one's going to be holding a coin because you know if we're a lucky cat we want to have lots of money we're going to bring the money in so we're going to be holding a coin so I'm going to make a big upside down U for this paw and I'm going to connect it like I did before. I'm going to go all the way and connect it. And we'll add two or three little curves for that paw. And I'm going to bring that right back up to the body. So just connect it like that. Now our lucky cat's going to be holding a nice big gold coin to bring us wealth and prosperity. So I'm going to make a nice big circle. And it's going to go behind the paw, so it looks like he's holding that. Now, these cats also wear kind of like a little collar bib thing, so I'm going to draw that in. So I'm going to curve here, stop at the arm, and it's going to curve way down. So it'll probably start about here and curve back up to that paw. And... I'm going to draw one of his back paws over here. So I'm going to make a nice curve. Upside down U, kind of like a rainbow. And then connect it. Add those little paw lines again. And I'm just going to go in and connect here. A nice curve for the bottom of our cat. And the arm, I'm going to extend down into the body and back to that final leg. So now we have our finished, oh, I still got a couple things, wait. Cat's finished, we gotta, need to add a couple little details, right? So our cat wears a cute little hat kind of thing on his head, so we're gonna draw two U-shapes on the head, there's that. And of course, our cat needs some whiskers. So I'm gonna add three little whisker lines coming off the edge there and there is our lucky cat so i hope you had fun drawing that kids remember that's the most important thing have fun and practice your drawing so you can color this any way you like um, or you can look at the one i did and match mine if you want to do that so i hope you had fun kids and we'll see you next time